everybody and welcome back to Backroads County. Anybody that's been around for the live stream earlier today, well, the plans have changed a little bit from what I thought we might be doing. Instead of making hay, we're going to be making some silage sausages. Who doesn't like a good country sausage, as GoldenEye puts it? Farmer G is in the house. Scrap lots of laughs. What is up? I just got put down, I just got done putting down a bale shed. Well, welcome back. Twenty-four bales for a trailer load. I think we're only going to need two trailer loads to get all these. This would be rather interesting making some TMR with giant bales like this. Well, I'm doing great. We had a very nice live stream earlier today. I'm gonna close out the evening with another live stream. Give people two chances to enter to win pumps and hoses on Tuesday. The Dutch Carlito, welcome. Hello, Waylon. Not quite first in chat today for the evening stream, but close enough. I get to see my get to see my bale shed. It's not quite a she shed, it's a bale shed. Watching how is the Netherlands tonight? Or should I say early morning? Right? Altona Gaming, welcome. How does it go? Here's our bale shed. Matthew, welcome. Hope you enjoy the live stream. Oh, Transport Fever 2. It's fun. I enjoy Transport Fever 2, but um, I didn't have the imagination. To continue on in free mode. All right, it was one of those things where I played better when I was given direction. Like, perfectly fine being told, hey, why don't we do this next? Then we need to do this, and this is our goal, and I work toward that as opposed to kind of making my own goals. For whatever reason, that just didn't work out so good for me. There we go. 
Scott, welcome. How's it doing? How is your Sunday down in the land down under? Two AM. Two AM on a Sunday. Feels like we got a lot more than 24 bales on the ground. That's good to hear. Good to hear, almost 8 a.m. Mona. You're, you are 12 hours ahead of me, exactly, Scott. Exactly 12 hours ahead. For it is 7.56 p.m. on a Saturday for me. Ask you how the weather's going to be tomorrow. I don't think it's going to translate. Lumberjack Darren, welcome. of our pre-show we're gonna have a most of these bales picked up then we're gonna to move to mowing with the new swather swathing some grass they are gonna bale some grass and make some sausage some grass sausage Rust sausage. So we're going to be using the Anderson wrapper. We're going to wrap right down there along the fence line of the cows Just try to get lined up on this better right but okay it's close enough it's y'all guys on the flip side
Hey everybody and welcome back to Back Cow Back Roads Country. Back Roads County. Back Roads something. I will never get the map name right. Guaranteed. How is everybody doing today? We are finished collecting our straw that we did earlier today. Then we're gonna get around to mowing some grass. Making some grass silage sausages with our Anderson wrapper. And then that'll probably take most of the day or most of the live stream night. We're going to be using the Anderson wrapper from the selectable bale capacity mod. That way we have a wrapper that can do whatever size bales we make. Right there, guys, in chat, that is a link to the Gleam.io giveaway page. We're going to be giving away a copy of Pumps and Hoses on the 6th of September. Giveaways open to any PC player. Because we will be redeeming the giveaway with a Giants eShop code. That is good for any install on the computer for Farming Simulator 22. There we go. So we got our heavily patriotic straw bales put away in our new bale shed. We won't need to make any more bales of straw, that's for sure. Rob, what is up? Farmer G's laughing because once again, I cannot get the name of the map right. It's a guaranteed. There it is. Our new swaffer. Pumps and hoses coming out in just under 24 days. It's not a John Denver song map. I guess we should probably burn down the, the dust. You think? You probably won't be able to see anything. It's not back roads country. Yeah. 
Look at that, 180 degrees. Man, oh man. I wish you had such a mower with a turning radius as this. Boom now, what's up? Bergdis, welcome. Before we forget, this video is brought to you by Mervin Nuts and Raznak. Thank you for being farm barons. Matthew, I have heard nothing about that map. Nothing at all. The law, yes, the long weekend for some of you. Some of you in the US who will be getting Labor Day off. Not me. Not me. I will be laboring all Labor Day. At the day job, no Labor Day off for moi. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight passes of the mower on this field. Well, you get an hour off on Labor Day, huh? What a what a nice gift. What a nice gift to give you an hour off. Isn't that the case though, right? Here's your day off, but all the work that got didn't get done still needs to be done. So yeah. This thing is a little squirrely on keyboard. It's a little squirrely to drive when you're using a keyboard. Ray, welcome. Oh no, this is a view. This is a view. Definitely a mod that is much more enjoyed with a wheel. It's too easy to oversteer with a keyboard. Apparently the first thing Matthew adds to his game saves. Swaller is now mandatory equipment. And I can see why, I can see why. the job done. Ah, I don't use the controller, Matthew. But whatever works for you, works for you, right?
tinted windows. Wondering how long this stylage sausage is going to be. In fact, I think I think what I might do is I might only do half of this in silage and half of this in hay. Good new map is very subjective to the person, so I would say just to check the map review playlist and uh, see what might be out there. I think this is a good map. I think um, Griffin, Indiana, which just dropped, is a very good map. Uh, we also have Addingham Park, just released. That is a really good map, I think. Then again, it might not fit your uh, your overall requirements of a good good map. Let's see. What do we say? There was 28 passes. So if we get to uh, 14, 14 passes of silage, 14 passes of hay. That'll work. Mr. Jeaner, welcome. So here we go. To the left will be grass, to the right we'll do hay. We're going to make a silage sausage today. No uh, stylo for us. We're going to be wrapping them all in a little silage blanket. July 9th, oh my gosh, yes, we've missed nearly two full months. There's a lot of maps that have come out in the last two months, I can tell you that. mower that has the turning radius like this thing does it is totally a blessing and then couple that with the 
Zero turn Baylor? Oh my gosh. So it's just getting started when you were quitting. It's kind of like getting used to driving a skid steer, I guess. Right. So we're gonna go grab our conditioner after this and uh, condition the rest. You haven't played the coffee map or now coffee maps There are now multiple maps with coffee on them Shampoo is in the wrap. There we got a wrapper set up right there. Got our Kubota wheel loader right there. There's our conditioner in the box. Go condition some hay. If you lower the mower deck, maybe you get something accomplished. Ta -da! We got ourselves some hay. of course the conditioner helped squeeze some of the 
moisture out of the grass. So it helps it dry faster. So in the game, we emulate that by basically getting insta hay. Typical flying reindeer. So uh, I was going to make all silage. I changed my mind because I saw we, we didn't have any hay bales left. And my goal is to start mixing TMR. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think, with uh, those giant straw bales. But we'll do what we can. Another ten, another ten passes with our mower here. What do y'all think of the return of Voltra on Tuesday? With the one point seven one update, I was speculating earlier during the other live stream that 1.71 will bring the Grimmy pack back to console. There were apparently some scripts that need to be added to the game for that to work on console. Yeah, Farmer G, I don't know. I don't know why. I know when I was doing my testing, I never even thought about looking at the combinations. I just went to the mods and DLC page and just bought everything from there when I did my video on it. But I guess, I guess supposedly if you go here. And then combinations, you get you get that, but that is not the one with the conditioner. You have to go down here. There we get the Twin Max conditioner. So it's a completely different name. DS2, but only because it made ants. A N T S series tractors. I suppose there's just some missing XML coding, which is causing the combinations, non combinations, kerfluffle.
That's it. I don't use combinations very often. I kind of forget it's even there. Having this as a grass field is a it's a good idea for down here. Heck of a lot better than it's starting in potatoes, right? We have potatoes when I first loaded the map up. Oh, really? Let's slow. Nope. Nope. Nope, not in tethers. Not in miscellaneous either, it's just... They did a really great job with the uh, with the dolly wheels on the rear. here uh, yeah there that was indeed the case yeah when I did the video I just went to mods and DLCs like I always do and then we went to our swapper, right? We just had the swapper, we had the twin, we had the big hitter, and then the transport. And you see when we get to the conditioner, there's no, there's no combinations. pretty sick in real life too if you're a farmer that does a whole lot of hay a purpose-built mower like this can be a uh, a boost Welcome. Welcome. There we go. We're done. We're done motor field in less than 30 minutes. Not a bad. Not a bad job.
We're gonna put this away and get our uh, bailer out. Uh, what did you did you flip it already? I mean, people talk about me driving bad, and you're flipping a mower. say part of it would be the turning around this has a superior turning radius so you're not spending time turning around at the end of the field Because one thing is, right, they have different working widths. So, depending on the bat wing, right, you could have a working width up to 12 meters. Depending on the, uh, the big self-propelled crone has a working width of, I think, 9 meters. Whereas I think this mower has got a narrower working width, but... I think it has a faster mowing speed. And it also has, then, the ability to okay. also then has the ability to turn around on a dime so when you get to the end of the field as we did here It will uh, you just whip back around and go back around the, the mower. So just like we can whip this around and dive right back in, we spend very little time not actually doing the job. So in theory, we have more time actually in the field. We should uh, reset our bail counter, control X. So we made two. So now we'll keep track how many we made. They're also mowing in front of the tractor and they've got the wide wheel stance so they're never they're never driving over what's been mowed. So they're not crushing it down. They're it's 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 gonna aerate better. It's gonna be easier to pick up.
So let's see, mowers. Uh, working speed of 15 miles an hour. Same. This doesn't show working speed because we gotta go to the header. Fifteen, nine, thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. 13, so It's a little bit faster than most of the mowers. B Games 2, welcome. Welcome. I mean, for the, for the mower, right? That's Matthew said, the visibility of the mower right in front of you. It's right in front of you. You're not, you're not looking back at the mower, trying to see what's going on. Ergonomically, you know, your neck, it's just everything you need to see is directly in front of you. So if you're mowing a big field and you know you're worried about deer, well that's right there in front of you. That's why like zero turn ride on mowers are are so awesome because the deck is is either right below you or right in front of you. Like this thing. This thing's got an excellent mower because you just gotta drive right over top of the windrow. Because the pickup is kind of directly behind you and underneath you. Where makes sins? Thank you very much, sir. For the reminder, I don't like to bug people about liking a video. But yes. Likes are much appreciated. They go a long way in helping YouTube recommendations. That makes sense with the eight month farm baron membership. Thank you, sir, for being a member. God, free for all. Welcome back. You were here earlier. We were having fun. Over, over at the oat field. We are having fun over here at the grass field. I want to try to get another cut of grass in this year. That'll give us three cuts because we mowed hay in April, June, and July, and then hopefully in August and September we'll be able to mow sometime in September or October time frame. Tin Man Pickle, when it's ready to harvest, they'll tell you right away. Crops only transition at the start of the month. So if it is at the start of the month, if you're playing multiple days per season, multiple days per month, I should say, when you change months, if your corn doesn't go to harvest ready, then it won't be harvest ready until at the earliest the next month.
but just because you're, let's say, at the first month of when it could possibly be ready, it depends on how when you put it in the ground. If you put it in the ground the first possible month, then it should be ready the first possible month. But if you put it in a month or so late, then it'll probably take another month or so for it to um, come ready. Scooter's workbench, you're welcome. What's up? I love my BXNG. What is a BXNG? Maybe I love it too, but I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, well. So, if it's like this map... Born. October, November, or so. Ah. Uh, so October, so it's gonna be ready in November. If it's not, if it's October and it's not ready, then it'll. You have to wait until November. A. November, a, and then it should be ready on the first day of November. A. But if you're on the first day of October, it's not gonna suddenly be ready on the second day of October. Or the third, or the fourth. Basically, crop states change when the month changes, and then you have four days to do what needs to be done for whatever changed when you moved into the month. If you want to make rope, that's cool with me. Yep, so you won't see it change until November 1st. So if you don't have anything better to do, you can just sleep through November 3rd and 4th. I think, I think, Scott, ultimately you roll it. But what you do between field and final product, I don't know. huge amount of silage sausage we're only getting about one bale per pass maybe two bales per pass morning david welcome to the sunday morning freak show our 
getting our use out of the Vermeer Baylor, that's for sure. Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. Chilling out on a Saturday evening. Spending time with my homeboys. We're gonna get this grass mowed or baled and then we're gonna turn in for the night. And we'll do the rest of work in July 2nd. Uh, hopefully you are, David. Hopefully you are. Hey, that can take it out of you. I did. I did half grass, half hay. Because we didn't have any more hay left for our moos. We are sitting at 15 bales of grass because I made two bales before I reset my counter. And then we'll get a little bit less of hay in our output. And Swaller makes pretty good windrows that this thing can pick up. Yes, yeah, Scott, we used the new swather. We used the head without the conditioner for the top part of the field, and then we added a conditioner for the bottom part. Welcome back, Scott. I don't know what you missed, but you didn't miss much. Your bales getting made, that's about it. So who's been used in the uh, Vermeer self-propelled baler from the Vermeer pack? And what do you all think of it? Okay, we got one, two, three, we got five more rows after this. Say, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, well, why not? Get on that. I mean, we got pumps and hoses coming out in a month. There's not enough time to do anything around here. Oh, our night lightning bugs are out. Fireflies are fire flying. Uh, uh. 
That's what happens, Burgess on a 24-7 map. Well. <laughs> oh. Sometimes the best laid plans just don't work out. Huh. I don't know why you've got to use selectable bail capacity mod. Right? I don't understand that. <laughs> I mean, after all that time working on it, you probably want to just not see it anymore. Somebody has to use it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we used it here. For a little bit. Then this thing came out. What am I going to do? We are using the SBC version of the wrapper though. So if we ever do get back to using the SBC baler, the wrapper will work with it. run a tight ship beat you down if you don't use it I don't use the big M so that would probably be the swather by the time I use the big M is when I need to mow grass quickly for a mod video it's just one thing I have to lease Terry, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Farmer G gets a 4X combo for the smiley faces four times in a row. to go 22 bales 23 bales will probably be the last count yeah, I mean the big M lets you windrow or not windrow so that's it swath or windrows all the time it lets you mow hay or mow grass or you can get the big wide header and move grass that way. Uh, well, thank you, Nathan. I love the Baylor too. Really glad to see this come into the game. Really glad to see Vermeer come into the game as a brand.
But technically the Big M is not the biggest mower in the land. There is a set of butterfly mowers that is bigger working with than the Big M. So if you just went biggest mower possible, the Big M would be the most expensive mower possible, but not the widest. We're going to have some leftover grass. We're going to have to go the next bale. We will have four more Voltras in the game starting on Tuesday, Terry, if you haven't heard the news. saying use what you want use what you want ah oh, so we did get a hay bale out of that the sounds going on. It depends what you're looking for. I mean if you want to if you want the biggest mower possible then you're gonna have to go with this. 12.3 meters compared up with that. There you go. The swather is 4.9 meters or 9.2, whereas the big M, little M, is just 10. So yeah, depending on your preferences, maybe you like to use course play a lot and course play works better with a big M than a big set of mowers.
get these so then we can use our wheel loader a lot easier. Uh, so maybe hired helper works better with the uh, the big M. Two, four, six, eight, plus this one. Well, that's where mods like the selectable bail limit come into play so handily. You can make bales four times bigger and be able to make four times the number of bales in essence four times the product's worth nice 24 and one remainder Go sausage them. Sausage me. Here we go. Should have put doubles on the front. This thing is far more stable with duels on the front. Put 
a fine way of making things. Nathan, these are all leased pieces of machinery. No, no customization is allowed. This will take long. Here we got about half the uh, load already done. I was wondering how these tubes, if you will, these sausages of bales got made. I see these a lot on the long side of the fields. Inevitably, I never see them actually get made. I just see them exist. You, you go by the field one day and they're not there. You go by the field another day and suddenly they're there. Right, they, they have to be made somehow. Well, this is how they do it. Six, nine, twelve. Yeah, we got twelve more. Dwayne, what is up? Have I ever seen this process in real life? What's made is amazing, riveting television. Don't even get me started on a on a marathon. It's gonna be like five hours later, and you're like, "Wow, I had no idea how much time has passed." This was so cool when it came out in 19 as a DLC. Now the one 
I got is only works with round bales, but of course there is a a version that will do either in the game. These cows are like, dude, that's my food. What are you doing to it? downhill How we make a cocoon. Nah. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. line. I mean, after all, we are on a hill. Round things like to roll. Finish it off. R. There we go. Grass is best. Chevy Young, welcome, welcome. We are having some fun. Playing a grass, grass, grass boys. I've got our hay bale, our grass bales wrapped up in our sausage. Make some hay bales. So we got one hay bale. It's extra. And then we reset our counter. So we can keep track of that. And it's just so awesome driving this thing inside right down the, the gullet. Up 
Farmer G, they may all say that, but they they keep coming back. For the country sausage. What are you doing? We just got done making some silage sausage as the thumbnail showed. It is the country sausage. Back roads, county, country. Country, county. to figure out uh, how we're gonna make mixed rations with 11,000 liter straw bales uh, 8,500 liter hay bales and uh, 7,500 liter silage bales or sorry 9,000 liter hay bales That's why I keep thinking the map's called Bank Roads Country. Right? Farmer G says I get it messed up every every stream. Keep suggesting me that Schultz mod. Is that what you all keep suggesting? Uh, we are indeed using the bail texture changer, but I do wish. I do wish it wouldn't change every bale that exists when you change the texture. Like, you know, if, if I wanted... If I wanted blue and gold... hay bales... I wish it wouldn't change every bale that's already been made. So maybe I want to make I want to make different bales from different cuttings different different wraps to keep track of which one's which so you know like this cutting I want it to be blue and gold but next cutting I want it to be green right I don't want to change all my other bales So I wish it wasn't global. Uh, well, typically, Mr. Dio, it's two silage to one hay, one straw. If an even, if an even bale, but in 22, the bales are all different capacity to begin with. Or you could do one silage, two hay, whichever you have the most of. You don't even have to use straw. You could just drop straw and just use silage and hay. And at that point, it could be a 1-1 one -one mix. Gator, how's it in Texas? Texas hot? Is it 
Texas hot. to look I'll have to look and see maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll add one of those make them feel better uh, no rain here today it's a little cloudy today but no rain I'm actually thinking about skipping mowing this week Usually, usually you mow every week right around here, but I think we might just skip this week. The yard's not screaming that it needs mowed. Most of our bales over here. Let me get back. We'll fit out another bale, I guess. Uh, I don't know, Gator. That sounds awful optimistic. It's only the early September. I know around here it's usually it can stay really warm all the way into November. We were in the mid 80s. It was a bit overcast in the afternoon. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, but I do know that September 22nd is the first day of autumn, the official start of fall. I know our days are getting shorter just by a little bit each day, but they are getting shorter. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Around here, the snow is very temperature dependent, meaning that it can easily be one or two degrees the wrong way and it just be a very cold rain. January might be our coldest month of the year on average. Well, 
Well, and next year, next year there won't be any daylight savings. There will be no more time shifting after next spring. If that's, if, if everything is going the way I heard it is. That would definitely help putting mods in the right folder. <laughs> right? We won't have any mods. No mods have been added so far. So you'll be in for tomorrow? Total 14 bales so far, not a lot. Uh, not state, David, not state. I had heard that it was countrywide. It's just a shifting of an hour. But it will be rough for kids. It'll be it'll be rough for kids because they don't they don't understand what's going on. They're like, why do I have to get up in the middle of the night to go to school? It's still dark out. driven enough at this point you should be leveled up good so my understanding is it takes effect to 20 2024 is when I understood it to take effect So this year we'll be shifting our clocks, next spring we'll be shifting our clocks, and then we're done. Which, you know, I thought it was dumb when we started changing it different than the rest of the world. changing it at all. We still need to keep track of when other people change. Uh, it should be the same, Gator. Everybody gets three contracts. Alright, 
Alright, that's how many we need. 18 bales. 18 bales of hay. 24 bale or 25 bales of grass. Uh, you can keep the bales if you want. Yeah. Or if you take them all to the sell point, it'll give you money. I, the biggest thing I need to keep track of is um, my time versus relative to when Giants' times are. Like right now, we're six hours apart. We're typically always six hours apart. But there is a couple week period there where we are seven hours apart or five hours apart. depending on you know when they shift and when we shift so when we no longer shift anymore then we'll be six hours apart again for a period of time until until they shift and then we'll be five hours apart or seven hours apart for part of the year until they shift back Gator, I mean, nobody knows what the future update includes other than Giants. But I don't know why that they would mess around with bail contracts. I don't think anybody thinks bail contracts are broken. There we go. I mean, it'd be different if we thought bail contracts were broken in some way. these guys away it's 
funny, I can put this in with the arm up and I can't pull it out. Oh, for sure we don't want the bales going through the stacker going up through the roof. Especially if the roof has a collision on it, that'll be bad. Fertilizing. Animals look good. I guess we don't need to rake technically anymore because we got the swather. A little disappointing. Where's our tractor at? There it is. On the Eastern Time Zone, I feel I feel very nice to be a part of the minority. cut well thank you thank you it's probably out of convenience than anything else, I'm sure. Yep, we got an automatic rate. Fling in our vert. Then I'm trying to decide, do I find some jobs to do or just fast forward to August? we could take some silage con not silage we could take some fertilizing contracts but I don't see much the need for for that I 
let's figure what's going to be ready in August. Uh, we don't have canola. We have corn, October, soybeans in October. So if we fast forward to August, we, we might as well fast forward to September. Then we'll be mowing again, probably. They're going to double next month. Yeah. Not a lot going on. We could do a little field work. Got to figure out what we're going to plant in the field that we had our... Uh, oats in turn that off fertilize just that side of the field uh field 26 which one's that Oh yeah, field 26. Well, this field that was oats or wheat, it got harvested. So the only field that's left to harvest is field 13 and one. And what do they have in them? Uh, barley. Or, I don't know what color that is. Which flipping color is this? Oh, this is hateful. Oh, is it wheat? Oh, it's wheat. So, I mean, I guess we could buy field 13. Well, Ravenhawk, you don't have a color impairment. I turn off one side because this spreader allows variable spread width and you just need to map it on your in your key mappings I did a video about that same holds for the sprayers Let's go over here and see. I don't think this field needs lime, but we'll see. You can always put lime on it. No, but the buttons aren't mapped at the start. Ah, uh, the peach is fine. We don't need the lime. We don't need the lime on it. We're good. Oh, so what are we going to do with that field? What are we going to do? can't plant anything yet, so I guess we're just going to let it sit. <laughs> See what August does. Oh, that was a good pay in cotton field then. Seriously, they still haven't harvested that field. What else is there? Sorghum's ready. We're not going to mess with that. Um, oh, ha, 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 ha. No, you're not going to trick me there. 
Not doing it. Not doing it, Buddha. Not going to do it. They're not paying out very good. I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to take these. I mean, what's a starving farmer going to do? How's our cows doing? Oh, they still haven't done their thing. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do some work contracts to close out the live event. I don't know, you might get 70k after you sell all the excess. We got cotton growing in that field. Right, we'll make a good fortune off of our dried corn again got a decent amount of oats we'll make good money on oats in uh, what did it say December Watch out. Ugh, traffic is everywhere. Oh, well, I mean, fertilizer is always going to give you good money. Let's just go ahead and get a support bank. We're good for it. Field 27. Field 7 and field 12. Really curious why that farmer hasn't harvested his field of wheat. Is he gonna just let it sit and rot? Is he trying to trick us into buying the field? like a half million dollars this earlier today oh it's because i put that building down okay that's where my money went i put down that shed that's okay nathan we're gonna end the stream here in a few minutes anyway we Try to go about two hours on any one given stream. So we are approaching that point now. Oh. 
Oh, this is a nice field of sunflowers. Nuclear salmon, what is up? How's it go? Here we're coming up to the field of sorghum. That's right. That's how we say it. But uh, we don't have much use for that. Orb nut, you are here a little late, but better late than never. Versus better never than late. Zipper Buffo is late. Okay, you were here earlier. You were here this afternoon. Don't be too worried about it. We're just hanging out on a Sunday, Saturday afternoon. Don't be making the weekend go by any faster than it is. Gosh. Oh, yeah. Back for my break, that's for sure. Yeah, a break. It's good to hear nuclear salmon. You don't have like six eyes or anything like that. Glow in the dark salmon row. Did I own this farm down here? It's a pretty interesting layout. Get a sore gums after you go to the dentist, and they're doing it wrong. And that's where you, you pick up the little pick and you say, All right, dentist, we got a new deal in town. Whatever you do in my mouth, I do in yours. Let's go. using that farm. I'd ask you how you like it, but I kind of figure I know how you like it, otherwise you wouldn't be using it. Picked the wrong line to follow. That's the line we need to use. Diablo del Toro, another regular that has made it 
Late. What's the Australian map? Okay, so we're going to just line up here on the edge. It's not done, is it? I mean, it'd be awesome if it was done. It is done. Cool. Collect you. Let's head over into field seven. Uh oh. That's some big news, Corp Nut. Big news. Good to hear. Oh, okay. All right, corporate. Western Australia. Uh, well, it feels the gold. I'm gonna have to go with the RLs because we are done for the night. And you'll never see a John Deere car combine on this map. That is for sure. Thank you all for coming out and watching today. I'm going to go ahead and finish out these fertilizing contracts. And we'll see what type of uh, craziness we get into tomorrow because we will indeed be live streaming probably tomorrow afternoon on farm sim double deuce don't know if it'll be on this map or another map but we will be live streaming on another map and then tomorrow evening we will be on american truck simulator doing what we do best causing mayhem on american truck simulator with the mayhem crew so be sure to check that out also. Paula, welcome, but we are literally just closing out. We've been live streaming for about two hours at this point. Hope to catch you another evening. And remember, if you haven't already signed up for the pumps and hoses giveaway, just hit explanation giveaway real quick and go to that link and sign up. It's available for PC players. We will be redeeming a Giants eShop copy of Pumps and Hoses. And we'll be drawing that on Tuesday, September 6th at the end of the stream. And until next time. Happy farming.